Hey guys, how you doing? So I've been dreading doing this video because I did not want to deal with that stack of receipts that I saved for everything I bought for the van and all the Amazon orders and everything. So I was not looking forward to it. But somebody asked me the question, how much I spent on the van build, so that gave me the motivation I needed to make this video. So thank you, Gary. Okay, so I'm gonna break it down by category. First of all, there was a couple times when I sent Doug out to get something and he wouldn't take money for what, what he bought. So I'm gonna estimate that Doug spent about $200 on some miscellaneous items. Uh, he did buy a couple tools that were more than that, but he kind of used them for his work too, so I'm not gonna count that in there. Next category is decor. So that's the items that you saw, the woodland theme I was trying to go for, like the throw pillows and the comforter and all that. That comforter is like birch trees. So that's all that stuff. And I spent about, I have to look at my notebook here. I spent about $329 on decor. The next category I'm gonna call um, hardware, etc. So obviously that's like brackets and screws and the window sash lock, stuff like that. So the total for that is about 286. So the next category I'm gonna call, it's kind of tools, but it's more like glues and adhesives and paints and rust converter, stuff like that. I'm just gonna write tools, glues. So on that, I spent about $527. That's All that stuff is very consumable, but some people may already have some of that stuff. So $527 on that. And then the next category I'm going to go with is uh, necessary items. So the lights, the, the lights for the drawers, the fan, the diesel heater, the insulation, stuff like that. Yeah, the bulk of the van build. And on all that came to 1520 So the next category I'm going to call uh, everything for power. The Goal Zero and the solar panels and all the cables and everything. So that all came to 1908 The next category I'm going to say extra items. These are things that I didn't necessarily have to get. It wasn't really much. Like the glow-in-the-dark paint I used for the handle and uh, magnetic clips and stuff like that. That came to about, so I'm just gonna call that extra, that came to only about $87. So the next category is lumber. Sometimes you had to get some really nice lumber for like the tables and stuff like that, so that got a little expensive. So that all came to about $722. So that's like the build part, so now I wanna talk to you about, so the van itself cost $3,000. And it needed some repairs that Doug and I couldn't do, so we had to take it to a mechanic. And we also needed new tires. The tires were 740, so that was a big chunk of it. Uh, we needed the AC fix and an oil change. So all that came to 1,240. So in addition to the repairs that I had to pay for, uh, which wasn't too bad actually, uh, we had our own repairs that we did, a lot of rust repair especially. Uh, so. I'll call that a DIY van repairs. That came to $814. Like for instance, the door seal in the back that was leaking, so I had to buy a new one that was like 60 bucks or something like that. So that's all the items that we needed to fix the van ourselves, 814. And the next category I'm gonna call van upgrades. items that I didn't have to do it just made me feel safer driving it or like the headlights they were kind of dim so I, I got new ones a backup camera I did not want to drive that car that van without a backup camera because we did close off the back windows uh, like the the noco blue stuff like that that's what the upgrades are and that came to 1212 all right so as far as the build goes came to 5579 these items here and as far as the van itself where maybe if you got a nicer van you wouldn't have to put all this money into it that came to 6266 I feel like I got a pretty good deal it's a 02 Ford Econoline E350 and it had 165,000 miles on it but I know those vans can run 300 400,000 miles so hopefully I'll have it a long time 
and the engine is very sound, it runs really great. So the total comes to 11845 If anything, I'm sure this number might be a little low because I'm sure I lost some receipts or just forgot to keep track of some things that I spent money on. But that's a good estimate. So what do you guys think? Do you think that's a lot of money to spend on a van build? And if you did your own van, just let me know in the comments how much you spend if you feel comfortable with that. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care.